What's up everybody? My name is Vincent. This channel is I for Profit and it looks like I got a Ben store opening up right down the street from my house. They got different prices every day. This is a grand opening right now. We about to go in there and see what it's looking like. This channel is all about profit. If you like profit, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. So this new place called Daily Deals is definitely going to be a game changer for I for profit. I'm telling you guys, these liquidation places are popping up all over the place. If you don't have one in your area, be on the lookout. I just randomly got a call from somebody that knew that I was a reseller and told me, go check this place out. It is grand opening today. So Ariana, if you're watching this, thank you very much. I came up in there and I'm about to share everything I got with you guys. Right after I pull these 10 items that sold, it is Thursday. I want to show you guys that real quick. Then we're going straight to the new items that we got. So this thing right here is really good on the eyes. It's like a plate and bowl set. And I got this item free back when the pandemic first started and people were sourcing online for free inventory and trying to get creative thrift stores was closed. There was a lady who was clearing out her storage unit and I went and picked up a bunch of stuff from her. This was one of those items. So it's all profit minus my eBay fees. It sold for $20. The buyer played $9 and some change to ship it. The next item that sold, boom, a women's UCLA hoodie. Nothing special. It sold for $16 with free shipping. I got this item out of a storage unit. It's my downtown storage unit. It's all profit. We're already in the profit on that unit. So it's going to be all profit after the shipping and the eBay fees. So Let's say we'll profit about $11 on this item. Yeah. All right, you guys. It's funny how another item that I got free sold. These are Top Man skinny jeans and they're distressed. They got holes in them. These sold for $10 plus shipping. Wait, let me double check that. That's right. They sold for $9.99 plus the buyer paid $8 shipping. Funny how long I had these. I've had these. Whew for about a year, honestly, but hey, it was free inventory, got them listed and they finally sold. So we're profiting probably six or $7 on these, maybe $8. It's only after the eBay fees, which is like 12%. I think I must've had this Tommy Hilfiger sweater from my first, first, first ever Goodwill trip two years ago. This thing took two years to sell. I had, obviously not knew what I was doing when I bought this, but it sold for $6.99 plus the buyer paid $11.69 to ship it. I'm just glad to see this go. I don't care if I didn't make profit, but I think I probably made a dollar off of it. Obviously, I would not pick this item up again or even list it if I had got it for free. I would rather sell it for a dollar at the swap. This is another item that I picked up for free. It is crazy. A lot of my free inventory is selling today. This free inventory came from a referral from a different person that gave me free inventory. This item sold for $29.95, free shipping, shipping media mail. So that's going to cost me about $3 after fees. I'll profit about $25 on this item. Now this Winnie the Pooh right here came from the downtown storage. As we already know, it's all profit. It sold for $9 with free ship. Now this game right here is called Midnight Club. It sold for $11. $11.95 free shipping also from the downtown storage. So that's all profit after the cost of shipping and eBay. So this is a heavy American Eagle hooded furry jacket. It's folded. This is how I like to fold jackets inside of the hoodie if they have a hoodie. And I'm not going to take it out because I'm going to ship it like that. This item was in my downtown storage. All profit after eBay fees. So for $30 plus $25 shipping and the buyer was actually tripping on me thinking that I was trying to cheat them on the shipping price but it's like a six pound jacket bro and you like all the way in Idaho or something bro 
So yeah, that was the cost, $25. These last two items were also from the downtown stores. Got a few bucks for this item. It sold fairly quickly. A few days after I listed it, it sold for $5.95 with free shipping. That's gonna be media mail, about $2 cost. And then the last item sold for $15 plus shipping. It's just some eco sneakers, leather eco sneakers. Sold in about two weeks after listing. Downtown storage, all profit after eBay fees. Let's go. So there it is, guys. 10 packages going out. The customer's initials, the number on the address, the state and the weight of the package. And that's how I'm gonna match the labels with the boxes when I do the bulk shipping. Now let's get to these daily deals items y'all okay guys so the first item that i'm posting from daily deals is this hp 64 combo recently expired april 2020 the ebay recommended price on these was 29.20 i got five of them listed at that price and i paid six dollars each okay here's another item i picked up from daily deals i paid six dollars for six dollars a piece for five of these guys we listed them for $32 each on one listing. Um, it's gonna be free shipping, so that's gonna be $8. So we'll net profit $24 each before eBay fee. Now this is one item that I was extremely happy to find. It's a Fluke Network Tone Generator, which is basically some type of a probe kit. You know I was digging and hoping to find more because I got this guy listed. For $69.95 or best offer plus shipping. These are selling multiple times a day. Just today it sold, actually it sold zero times today, but yesterday it sold one, two, three, four times. So this item sells really good. I'm hoping to get a sale on it right away. Paid six dollars for it. After it's all said and done, we'll probably profit around $50. So I picked these two guys up for $6 each. I'm not gonna make a ton of profit off of these. I got them listed for $20 with free shipping. They only weigh 12 ounces, just a cool toy that um, drives up walls. 33 listed, 66 sold. I figured it shouldn't take long to sell, so I went ahead and picked them up. Here's another item that I decided to pick up, not because I'm gonna make a lot of money off of it, but because it's a quick seller, it has zero available for sale that's brand new and it has 10 brand new ones that are sold recently so i decided hey it'll be the only one it should sell fast paid six dollars and it's listed for 24.95 free shipping and that's first class okay you guys for the sake of your time and mine just remember that everything else i'm going to show you in this video that i got and listed was six dollars and then i got to account for Free shipping, if I say free shipping, I have to account for the shipping fee and the eBay fee. So here's another ink I got, HP60 Combo. Um, as you guys can see, I believe that's a CVS tag. They had this price up way high. I got it for $6 and I have it listed on eBay for $25.90. Free shipping. So we just have another HP Combo pack. It's listed for $28 with free shipping or best offer. So I just got an offer on the first HP cartridges that I showed you. It was a combo pack of HP 64, I believe. So I got an offer. Somebody sent me an offer on two of them at $22 each. So I just got $44 for two packs with free shipping. After spending $6, I'm gonna pay probably $6 for fees. So that's $12 into it. It's a good profit margin at the end of the day. To figure that here's another goodbye on the 65 xl i just posted three on one listing for 30 dollars each with free shipping but i must not have actually scanned this one because i just had to post these for 22.95 for both of them with free shipping so if i would have scanned these i probably wouldn't have picked them up probably was just a little too excited and list it. Take a good look at this brand because I have sold two of these already, but the other two I found, they were pre-owned used in the thrift stores and they were not on a swivel. So as soon as I saw this, I picked it up. I sold those other ones for about 20 to 30 bucks plus shipping and these are not small packages. So you know they got some 
value and some brand loyalty to them. This guy right here is listed for $50 plus shipping. So I picked this Junior Golf setup. It's a 60 set. It has four pugs with the carrier and like the puck cover. And it's for kids. Um, $6 item. Comps are $70 to $80 with free shipping. I don't like free shipping on big items like this. So I did $50 plus shipping. If you're on the West Coast, you get a deal. If you're on the East Coast, don't touch it. Okay, so honestly, this item made me nervous. It's like a hair relaxer, relaxing system. I didn't like pay that much attention to it because I was too busy grabbing stuff in the store, but I did my research and there was no reason for me to not list this. I checked eBay's restricted items and oh, those policies and stuff. So we're good. It's listed for $50 or best offer plus shipping. Okay, so I just listed this item for $20 free shipping. It's the first class item. And the reason being is because it's been opening. It doesn't have the original package. I had to put in the description that it was returned for incorrect item purchase. It's still new. So yeah, it, otherwise it would sell for $30. But the thing about this place is that, you know, it's a lot of people around grabbing stuff, competing with each other. So my advice would be at the end, you kind of got to go through the stuff you did again, which mistakenly I kind of didn't do that. So I did get a few things that probably wouldn't have got if I paid a little bit more attention. If I could, I would buy a hundred of these. This is the OEM MagSafe power adapter and they sell really good, about $30 free shipping. So I just listed this 25 degree mummy sleeping bag for $40 plus shipping. I paid $6 and with these kind of items, it's always going to be in your best interest to actually open them up and verify the condition it's in. This one is new open box. So to truly drive home the point of this video and why I feel like this new place is literally a game changer for me and anybody else in the LA area and any other resellers that get a place like this up in your area. Let me break down the numbers for you guys. $832. $832 is the number that I came up with after I listed all of the items and then totaled the value, the resale value of all of these items that I listed. The other thing that's great about these type of places is the type of things that you tend to pick up are extremely easy to list and have a decent value and could be listed in multiples. I think the most I've put on one listing was six items on one list. Now, how much did I pay for these items? For these items, I paid $224. Now, three of these items I was not able to list because they were not in the condition that I anticipated, but I didn't include those three in the total resale value, but I didn't take them off from how much I paid. So the difference between the resale value and how much I paid is $609. And then when we subtract our 30% for eBay fees, the number we get is $530 net profit from one day of sourcing, picking up 31 items, actually 34 items that were easy to list and were all listed by noon the next day. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a game changer. Thank you guys so much for watching this channel my name is vincent this channel is i for profit if you like profit tap that like button and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys on the next video peace